What's good, everybody? Timeless Traveler here, and welcome back to another Seed Showcase. And in this one, we're going to continue on with the theme of what are famous Minecraft YouTubers, or any YouTuber for that matter, what they would look like as a Minecraft Seed. And in this one, we're going to be going over IBX Toy Cat as a Minecraft Seed. But of course, before we go into that, if you enjoy seeing content like this and you want to see more of it, then leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and slap the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all future content. And don't forget, I am doing requests on what other YouTubers you would like to see as a Minecraft seed. This one, IBX Toy Cat, was suggested in my last video when we went over a different YouTuber. So leave a comment down below. Let me know who you would like to see in the form of a Minecraft seed down below. And I will, you know, give me some time and I will go over it and I will show you all what that looks like one more thing actually before we start so don't forget to take a look down below in the description because i have marked out a few goodies for you yes so there's going to be a couple things that i will not be showing in this video just to save on time but they were also so good i had to include them so down in the description there's going to be a few key locations I've got some buried treasure marked out for you i've got an end city with a ship and there is also for the first time i am marking down where a two by two quad slime chunk is. So you can create a 32 by 32 slime farm if you want. There's also an additional frozen ocean in there because I know a lot of you love harvesting ice. So I included another one. So take a look at that and let's go ahead and see what IBX Toy Cat looks like as a Minecraft seed. And we're over here in the spawn. We have ourselves, we're on the edge of a beach slash forest it's a little mix of the two we got ourselves a nice little pond in here it's a river going off over there but we have ourselves a couple different woods to start off with we got ourselves the oak and we have the birch journeying just slightly out to the north we'll take a look at that in just a moment but we have ourselves a nice lovely swamp biome and i know some people don't aren't very fond of the swamp but believe me as someone who has depended on a swamp biome in let's play series um you will be glad if you don't have a slime farm. This is the second best thing because, well, those that don't know, slimes spawn naturally in the swamp as long as there is anything but a new moon out. And we are here in a lovely warm ocean biome. So we have access to all of the corals, the coral fans and the tropical fish. Bringing it back in just a bit, we have ourselves a perfectly preserved ship. Not, I wouldn't even call it a shipwreck because, I mean, this is in perfect condition. Look at this. Everything but the sails and the crew. I think the crew, they've abandoned ship traders. So this is a perfectly preserved ship. And of course, there is some goodies with a treasure map hidden within. But as I mentioned earlier, uh, we have, I marked off a few buried treasures for all of you to save a little bit of time. And coming back out of the warm ocean, still near the spawn, we have ourselves a ruined portal. Just right as you spawn, you will literally just see this right in front of you, pretty much like this. And this this, this was here. I put that here myself. Um, we'll get to that later. But, you know, you have yourself your ruined portal. You got yourself uh, I mean, you get a little bit of crying obsidian. It's okay. But you got yourself your little bit of treasure as well. Maybe some tools, some enchanted gold items for you as well now let's go ahead and take a look at what this area that i marked out was so we're still spawn is right there we just there's a shipwreck the portal is right over there and you got to do a little bit of digging but it's not too bad and once we get here you're going to end up in a nice lovely mine shaft now i did a bit of exploring and you will eventually be down at diamond level while still being in the mine shaft. You don't have to dig or anything. You just got to do a little bit of exploring off over in that direction. You got to, you know, fight the cave spiders and you will be able to mine diamonds fairly early while having access to all other loot at this Y level. Now, if we bring our direction a little more to the northwest, we are going to come across the first frozen ocean biome now. I have added in a second one in the description, but we're not going to show it on camera. Um, you, you know what a frozen ocean looks like. They're all the same. It was just right now we're showing you your quick access to ice, packed ice and blue ice. And then right within that frozen ocean, take a look at this. This is a massive, massive badlands going on the Z axis. 
Uh, this frozen ocean will span a few thousand blocks. It's, it's about 2,000 blocks uh, from north to south. And then it's like a few hundred blocks east to west. And the beauty of this, you know, you got your terracotta, you got all your different, you know, variations of clay, your plateaus and stuff, the red sand. And of course, your early game gold farms, because gold does spawn at a higher Y level. It's like 70. The highest I found was 72 uh, for your gold. So see, look, we're already here. Um, it's it should be a little higher than this. This is actually at 59. Here's 60. Um, th it will spawn higher. But I mean, as, as soon as you go in, you got gold. So you're going to be able to get your powered rails and your accessories or the nether before you, you know, go further in your game. Perfect way to start off for your beginning world. Now, the final thing that we're going to be doing here in the overworld is going to be at check the coordinates here. And so we have this isn't the highlight of, the, of this this section, but we have ourselves a nice little ruin portal, beautiful set of open planes. And so this is not the most appealing. This is just, you know, your typical mountain uh, before caves and cliffs. So it's not that exciting. It's just it's just bulky. We're not here for that, though. If you take a look at this ravine. This is one of those unique generation features. So we have ourselves a stronghold inside the ravine, bits and pieces of it. It's actually pretty well intact, but there are some nice openings throughout this ravine. And some of it even goes underneath the ravine and deeper into the mountain itself. And I've marked out the exact location you need to get to land right where your portal is so it's going to be right about here so we just go ahead and just water dive down here and you will land perfectly break yourself down by a few blocks and it has one eye of ender in it i already went in there to take a look but it starts off with one so you will need 11 very very easy to get to the end of the game on this seat now i don't know about all of you but ever since 1.16 i have loved and i mean love blackstone i have an entire base basically built out of blackstone and basalt and so i i know for a lot of people blackstone has been a new popular block so it is a very important block but quite honestly not only is it far too dangerous to just mine for blackstone in here not only that but it doesn't produce enough because you need blackstone bricks uh just this basic blackstone is not enough it's also it's not enough and it is extremely dangerous. This is the, the most dangerous biome, in my opinion. You've got the lava, the magma cubes, the gas, um, the magma blocks. It is horrible, which is why, why it is so crucial that we have access to a bastion. I've got a couple of these I want to show you today. So this is one of the bridges, bastion bridges that uh, will generates. Now, this one is fairly open if you uh, would like to mine from the top down you're gonna have a fairly easy start the only challenge is going to be some of this lava but i'm sure if you could just fill these in a bit you know and then because lava moves so quick in the nether it is a not uh it's super easy fairly an inconvenience i i think once you fill in those spots but we have ourselves a bridge bridges have thousands and thousands of blackstone the top half is going to be mostly bricks and then you break it down into the regular blackstone and now we're away from all the lava and the basalt delta we can safely mine a little bit more blackstone here at the stables and if you take a look down here that was actually the tip of the iceberg we have all of this structure down below and look at all these little units for the hoglands it's it's a bit of a challenge, but it is easier if you give yourself a bit of a platform here. You won't have to worry about falling into the lava. And you, of course, have all of this amazing, amazing blackstone to mine. But if you're looking for a bit more of a challenge, then take a look at this one. This is going to be the housing units. Now, it's, this is pretty much all lava within the Crimson Forest. It's much more... It's it's more like Swiss cheese. It's, it's just holes everywhere. It's very broken. And then if you fall, you've got a higher chance of just falling straight into the lava. Then you have to deal with piglins 
and the occasional brute. So this one is high risk. Uh, I'd say is average reward. It doesn't see, it doesn't have as much as the other two. But if you want that little extra challenge, then this will be able to do it for you. And last but not least, we have a nether fortress. Now, this is just a little further away in relation to where we set the portal up near the overworld spawn. But here we are in the nether waste, which is one of the safer biomes in the nether. Uh, you don't have to deal with the, with the hoglins. Um, you still have your, your skeletons, your blazes, and your gas, just things you'd expect in a nether fortress. And of course, we have this massive thing of lava. So if you fall off, well, you're 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 kind of toast. But the nether waste, we're all familiar with it. It's a little bit more comfortable. I think it's going to be easier to navigate this one as compared to if it were in a different biome. And there you have it, everybody. That was Seed Showcase IBX Toy Cat as a Minecraft seed. I hope you enjoyed this little series of the seed showcase. And if you ever were wondering what IBX Toy Cat looked like as a Minecraft seed, you now have your answer. Of course, don't forget if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like it, then let me know down below with a like and a subscription. If you haven't already, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all future content. Now, don't forget to take a look down below in the description for those little bonus treasures like the buried treasure and the two by two quad slime chunk and if you have any suggestions as to what other youtuber that you would like to see as a minecraft seed let me know down below in the comments my comment section is always open for suggestions and i try to get back to all of you as soon as i can also we have hit over 200 subscribers everyone that is a great milestone and i thank all of you for helping me get this channel to that point and as a little celebration, for those that haven't already seen my updated Creeper Crucible 2.0, um, take a look over there and you can take a look at that and see what it's all about. I'm going to be releasing a full tutorial with the materials list and all of that some point down the line soon. It's going to take a while just because it is such a big build and there is a lot to prepare for it, but it is going to be uh, as the 200 subscriber special. So be on the lookout for that so that's all for today thank you all again for watching thank you all for supporting the channel i hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for a tutorial for the upcoming creeper farm and you all take care have an amazing day and i will see you in the next video